One of the things we've heard in the past 12 months of the global recession uh, here in Canada is that unions have outlived their usefulness. Uh, unions uh, are stuck in the 20th century and uh, this doesn't surprise me. Uh, these are the age-old arguments that are actually wishful thinking on the part of conservative commentators. Canada has a strong labor movement with a good reputation around the world and now more than ever more workers in Canada need that labor movement. And there were two very high profile and bitter disputes this spring and summer in the cities of Windsor and Toronto. And all strikes are different that we encounter within QP, but if there was a common theme between these two situations, it was the employer, after years of stable labor relations, using the recession as ground cover to roll back the clock on benefits that previous members had fought for. We know from experience that during recessions, uh, government takes on debt, government expenditures go up, and they bring down the hammer in terms of restraint at bargaining tables. Canada's current economic situation lends itself to perhaps increased attacks by, in the forms of contracting out and privatization. We know that from our history. I was very pleased that in 2007 we stepped up our anti-privatization efforts. We've had successes. We're going to have to do that uh, continually as a union because I, I sense that more pressure will come for contracting out of uh, needed public services. QP members can deal with right-wing criticism uh, of unions by uh, profiling the services that we do. Poll after poll says that Canadians value public services, be it Medicare, school board services, municipal services, the whole range of services that QP members provide. And our best ambassadors are people on the job whose work is valued by the public that we work for. And uh, when we connect with the community, the community will defend Medicare and school board services and municipal services. They're our best line of defense. What I think we've learned since we last met in a national convention in Toronto in 2007 is one, we can win. We can take on privatization in all of its forms and do a good job. Two, we can profile uh, public services that Canadians value. Poll after poll tells us this. And three, we can bargain good collective agreements for our members even in the choppier waters of a recession when we work together. Uh, my hope is that the 2009 QP National Convention will continue to discuss the issues of critical importance to our members, the collective bargaining issues, the pension issues, the privatization issues, the equality issues. And I hope when we gather in Montreal that delegates have vigorous debate and they leave Montreal more resolved than ever that the 600,000 members that we're privileged to serve have a maximum effort from CUPE to do a good job in bargaining, to defend pensions, and to combat privatization wherever and whenever it arises. Um, and my own personal message to CUPE members uh, going into convention is that 46 years ago, our union was founded with about 70,000 members and 200 delegates in the city of Winnipeg. In 2009 in Montreal, over 2,000 delegates will gather, representing 3,400 locals and almost 600,000 Canadians from coast to coast. We truly stand on the shoulders of the sisters and brothers that built our union, and our job is to continue to build the union and pass it on to future generations stronger than the union we inherited. And I know we can do that when we work together.